Now, Squarespace has a fantastic analytics dashboard. It's nowhere near as accurate as Google Analytics, but it's a really good starting point to give you a complete overview of what's going on on your website without having to dive into Google Analytics, quite complicated dashboard. So I'm going to show you where to look, what to look at, and you know what all of this means on your Squarespace website. So I'm going to show you an insight into my actual website here. So what you want to do is you want to go to analytics and that is going to bring up your traffic. So it's going to default to 90, uh, 30 days. You can do uh, last year. You can, well, you can do whatever you want. So you can see last year, I got 64,000 visitors. Uh, year to date so far is 96,000. So obviously SEO is, uh, is doing its job and you can plot, you can plot these points. Um, I mean, it is July 1st. So don't think that I had this generational fall off, you know, <laughs> give me time. Anyway, uh, you can see all the points are plotted based on what you want. I would just say stick with the last 30 days. It's, you know, it is what it is. So you can see visits, you see the bounce rate of your website. I'd like to get that down personally. What I will say is a caveat or no, as to preface this walkthrough, don't judge my statistics, please. Anyway, bounce rate, unique visits, uh, and then page views overall. You've got your graph where you can plot all of this. Most people will probably see a dip each weekend because people tend to not be as big of a nerd on a weekend. Through the week, they nerd out a little bit more. Well, on my content anyway. Then you can see uh, sources. So you can actually go up here to see sources. And that just means like, is it coming through search? Is it coming through a direct search, social media, uh, referring websites, and then emails as well. So um, people have come through Gmail, I think maybe through my signature possibly. Referrals, so referring websites, I get a lot of traffic from Squarespace Forum. We can go, uh, usually you can go a little bit more granular to the to the page, but uh, Gents Croquet Club, that's like a members club I built for. You know, I don't have to run through all of these. You know, you can see there's a, there's a lot here. Then you've got social, so that will be uh, YouTube, doing these videos, gets me a, a, a decent amount of traffic, LinkedIn, uh, Reddit. See, this is interesting. I wouldn't know. Now, I think if I click on here, it wouldn't go to the exact page. That would be interesting to see who is recommending me on Reddit. Anyway, you can see how you could get quite lost in here. Um, and you can see all the different Googles there. Search keywords, if you've got a uh, Google... Uh, search console, I think, hooked up. You can actually see all of the keywords that you rank for, which is quite neat. I think this is a really, really cool insight. Then we've got uh, geography. And then you can see basically where all your traffic is coming from. I wonder whether I've got a visitor from every country in the world. Let's see. I'm not very popular in Jamaica, Georgia, or Bolivia, or Armenia. I'm going to have to get those numbers up might set up an SEO campaign. But anyway, you can see like, where am I getting most of my traffic, you know, by state. Didn't know I was so big in uh, California. That's interesting. But you can see all the traffic. Then we've got engagement and sales. So I don't sell anything, but Squarespace's selling dashboard is actually pretty robust. So you can see sales overall, units, etc. And then you've got sales by product, purchase funnel, and then abandoned cart. So with the purchase funnel, you can see visits, how many of those visitors viewed the product? How many of those then started the checkout process? How many of those then purchased the product? So obviously, if there's a huge fall off between these, you know something's not optimized on the website, and that gives you insight into what you can, um, or at least it tells you that you need to change something. Then abandoned cart, um, I, I don't have that set up. Now, engagement, this is what I find really interesting because if I go to uh, form and button conversions, you can see how many form submissions you're getting. You can see how many button clicks you're getting, but then you can also see what buttons and what forms these are. So how many times do they get viewed? How many times do they get submitted? And I, yeah, I find this really interesting because I'm just nosy. Uh, let's plot this year to date. So my uh, numbers look more impressive. I want to impress everyone online. So let's see, once this loads up, so you can see now um, 
my numbers look a little bit more sexy. So newsletter, this is a pop-up. And I can, you know, Squarespace tells me how it's a pop-up. You can see all of the places, all of the pages that it's popped up. So how many views did that get? How many people then submitted it? And what the conversion rate was on this. So what what I'm looking for essentially is a decent conversion rate. Um, and I can benchmark this against all of the other pages. If I see, you know, I'm looking at I'm looking at this here. Download images from your Squarespace asset library guide. Two submissions from 2,136 views. There's a 0.1% conversion rate. I'm thinking, surely there's got to be a better way to optimize this because that's a lot of people not signing up to the newsletter. So, I mean, I don't actually um, do my own newsletter pop-ups. So I'm going to get onto the company who do this for me and tell them that they need to sort that act out because look at all, all of you who aren't signed up to my newsletter. What is going on? Anyway, you can see, basically you can plot all of your stats, identify areas for improvement and also identify what's working well. And you can compare what's working well to what's not working so well and just see what you're doing differently. Like It's as simple as that. You can look through your site. Okay, A is working great. B, not so great. Okay, well, A, I added a different image. Okay, well, let's just try that on B. B's conversion rate goes up. Okay, well, that was the problem. If it doesn't go up, then it might be the article itself's problem. Maybe it's just not as relevant to the pop-up. So these are all things that I will be testing and that I will be telling the company to test as well. Uh, contact page, 7.1% conversion. I would like to see that higher because if someone comes onto the contact page, they have intent to get in touch. I need to make that clearer and easier for people to get in touch with me. Again, discovering things about my own website here. And this is just an excellent way to grab a ton of insight into every element of your website. Then the activity log, no one pays attention to this. Unless you're going to track people's IP address, I don't see the point. We've been through keywords. Then we've got RSS subscribers. So again, you can plot this monthly, you can do weekly, daily, whatever it may be. So you can plot all of that. Great. Now, I would say the most interesting things for me would be overall traffic, which was the main point of the video to see how many people are coming onto your website. Then what your bounce rate is, unique visits, page views. Great. I also like to see keywords. I think that's incredibly, incredibly valuable. Uh, this is just going to mark that against uh, Google. You can select uh, other search engines if you want. Then traffic sources. So realistically, you want to double down on what's doing well. So search is doing well for me. Uh, direct is obviously doing well as well. Uh, double down on that. And then I'm pretty sure I could get more referrals. I'm pretty sure I could be doing more on social as well. So double down, well, <laughs> double down on everything, I guess. And then if we go down into engagement, the most um, interesting things for me would be what are the most um, viewed and the pages that have the most time spent on them and what's so good about them like why do people spend so long on them why do so many people visit them and then try to extrapolate that to new content so it's giving you a ton of insight into what's working what's not working and then form and button conversions i find this super interesting and now having <laughs> this has been a good exercise for me having gone through it again identify what's working what's not working bring the best bits of what's working over to what's not working and then you've got a recipe for improvement. So hopefully you found that useful. I know I did. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.